Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be doing the right way to field a baseball. My brother Mark is going to be helping me out. Uh, but he's going to be fielding the ball the wrong way. So don't do it how my brother Mark does it, do it how I do it. Now, my brother Mark obviously knows how to feel a way to field a baseball. He's just going to be showing the wrong way. So he knows how to field a baseball and how to hit one. He's just going to be doing it the wrong way. So, so the first trick or tip is this hand being an alligator. So I'm going to obviously, I have a squishy ball to throw inside, very squishy. It could break something if you threw it really hard at something, but otherwise it will not break anything. So we're just gonna we're just gonna throw a ball at this. And you realize how I stopped it down with this, with my hand. I used it as an alligator. So you let me show you a couple more times. There's the alligator. There's the alligator again. There's the alligator. And then that was a bad one, but anyways, you get the idea. And you can feel the baseball like this. I mean, here, mm. let me show you. Mm. Okay, so you can feel the ball like this, worked. This is just to get a better grip. And if this ball goes past you though, I mean, it could go through your legs and stuff. So you really want to make sure that this, that this hand, I mean, you don't have to do it all the time, but just when you remember and make it a habit, keep on doing it. Keep on practicing getting this hand down. Now so, Marco, after this, I want you to demonstrate something. So stay right there. So, our next tip, keep this body behind the ball always. I, there are some situations where when, when you have a, when you're playing baseball that, you are standing like this. And, and, um, Mark, can you make sure you throw up, please? So they come back upstairs. Hey. My brother Andrew's right there, so don't worry about him. But when you do this, don't feel the ball like this. Because, my point is because when you're fielding a baseball, Sorry, that's my brother Andrew in the background. He he wants to stay down. Come on down, Drew. Just don't come over here. Stay stay in that room. Mark, can you turn on the light for Andrew in there? Alright, so anyways. Um, turn that light. Okay, so you you probably most of the time when you're feeling baseball like this, you could you're gonna you could make it. And if you do, that's good. If you make it in your glove, that is a good thing. But when you miss it, the ball goes past you. So Mark, come over over here. You just might have to use my glove for a second. I know it's a little big for you. All right, so what hand do you use on it? This one? Yeah. No, this one? Put your hand right in there. Okay, it's a little big for you. Now, I'm going to throw the ball, and I want you to do it like that. That's the wrong way to do it. Do it, so I want you to do it like that, okay? So you want to do it like this. Now, but we're teaching them not to do it like that. Okay, ready, Mark? Okay. Look at that. You have to feel the ball like that. Don't do that because you see what just happened. He missed the ball. The ball went past him. But, all right, Mark, good job. <laughs> when the ball, when you missed the ball, like this, okay, well, that time I went through my legs, okay? So I didn't have my legs in the right position, but if it's a bouncer and you kind of bobble it, it's gonna stay in front of you. Instead of this, when you bobble it, it could go behind you. Yes, I'll open it for you. Okay, you gotta go back over there. Okay, all right, so that's my brother again. His name is Andrew. So, and that's Mark. And that's Mark. So, you could, the better way to do it is when your body is behind it. So that way, if the ball comes up and hits 
and flies, you know, like that, okay, the ball flies like that, it won't go past you. But when, when you, when you miss the ball, it goes past you, or when it gets a little bit of a, that could be all right, but then you have to go back a few steps. But then you might have to throw the ball, like, with all your balance over this way, and then throw it, or the guy might be a little fast. Yeah, go. The guy would do it, okay? All right. So basically that was our tips and tricks of how to be better fielding and make, well, actually, I got one more trick. The last trick, always keep the glove on the ground. Never have the glove like this. Well, that time it hit my leg, but most of the time, when your glove is like that, the ball, unless it's like a really rocky field, the ball ain't gonna bounce up. So, Mark, one more time, come over here. Put it on your hand. See this hand? Oh, yep. All right, so I want you to hold this glove up here, just like this. Don't try to field the ball. Just keep the glove up here. It'll make it in your building position, though. Building position. Hand, look, hand up look, here. Look. So nice! Yes! Alright, so put this like this, but don't put the glove down. Don't. Oh, I said don't put it down. Okay, so what Mark's gonna do right next, right here, is going to be wrong. Okay, do not do it. He did it the right way the first time. He did a good job the first time, but just hold the glove right here. Don't move the glove at all, okay? Mark, I said don't move the glove, okay? So he did it the right way again, basically, but this is the wrong way. Mark. It's the wrong way. Well, it is the wrong way, but what I'm trying to say is he did it the right way every time, but when, do never, never feel the ball like this. The ball is just going to go right past. Unless it's like a really bouncy ball like this one, and it's going to bounce off a lot of times, then, I mean... You know, maybe like this, like this, but still never do it like this. Also, because it could puncture your wrist like that. It could really hurt your wrist, and it won't feel good. Trust me, it's happened a couple times. And so our last trick is always charge the ball. Okay, so basically I'm going to roll the ball at this, and it's going to, like, not go anywhere. So I'm going to get a little farther away. Mark, can you just roll the ball really slowly okay. to me? I need to show everybody how to do it. Never do that, okay? And that's Mark's job, but never do that. You always want to charge the ball, no matter what. Come on, charge the ball. Be aggressive. You never want to wait back because the ball's going slowly when it gets to your hand. When it gets to your glove, I mean, Runner could already be safe. I mean, if it's like a really, really fast runner, he's probably going to be safe by the time. So those were just a couple tips and tricks that I know about fielding base baseballs. And, yeah, try them on your own and stuff. So, yeah, and that's it for this video. So I'll see all you guys next time.